New Netflix drama Hit and Run tells the story of a man searching for the truth behind his wife's death. He gets caught up in a dangerous web of secrets and intrigue stretching from New York to Tel Aviv. Actor Kevin Mambo plays an NYPD detective with a wry sense of humor who is not easily thrown off of his game. Detective Newkirk, it's Naomi Hicks. I'm glad you stopped me. I was just coming to find you. Have you talked to Segev? I have. And? <laughs> you don't believe him? Segev is a murder suspect, okay? More to the point, I know Segev killed those people. So as peculiar as this case is, and I have to admit that it is, his words ain't holding a lot of weight with me. He's telling the truth. So you're vouching for him? Well, musician and daytime Emmy Award winning actor Kevin Mambo joins us live now. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Great Good morning. to have you. A lot of folks are going to recognize you from your time on Guiding Light, but Hit and Run is no soap opera at all. Tell me more about your character, Detective Newkirk. Well, Detective Newkirk is um, really a, a real template into the old school film noir um so new york hard-nosed detectives constantly trying to chip away at this mystery and as you know in these kinds of uh mysteries the further you go the deeper down the hole you go um he's a great coalescing point bringing together um the character of um segev and trying to figure out what has been happened what has happened in israel and the implications of what is taking place here in new york as well understood now you've had a really diverse career i see the keyboard in the background i think you play almost every <laughs> instrument in the orchestra but your career has spanned television theater Tell me how you've had to adapt your career, though, in this COVID-19 pandemic and actually sort of um, transitioning now where you're acting and doing all of these things, but within the confines of this, this uh, respiratory virus. It makes it very difficult, um, particularly at, at this show. We um, ended production early 20 and picked up production early 21 um, and was shooting between here and between Israel. So I think for a lot of artists, the, the, the real intention, if you can, is to pivot. I'm part of a company called Greatest Stories Never Told, and we are taking stories of uh, people of color and women in history, American history, that most schools are not teaching and most people don't know about. And our pivot was, we take this show live to children, but now we've also managed to find a way to pivot digitally so that we can take mm. the show digitally places while we are still in one place do three, four, five shows a day across the country. Uh, it's a live and interactive show as well. So we're trying to find our way within this sort of COVID blanket to be able to to reach the kids. Because as you know now, look at Alabama is out of no school. Right. You know, Florida Queen town as well. Louisiana, no right. school. Tri-state area, no school. As we were trying to find a sensible way to get kids back into a learning space. You know, they're behind and they're continuing to fall behind. So we're trying to do our part with this company to kind of help bolster that. I like that. And I can tell it's a real passion for you. Tell me, what have you learned about yourself? What has surprised you most about yourself in this shift in career? You've been doing this a long time uh, and staying focused sort of on your community activism, but also acting and the musicianship. What have you learned? Um, one of the greatest things that you really have to have if you're going to be in this business is tenacity. You really have to be prepared to put your nose to the grindstone more often than not. <laughs> it's less glamorous than, than, than people tend to think. Um, I think COVID too has given us a chance to kind of reflect as artists, where do we sit? Am mm -hmm. I going to be doing a lot more theater? Am I now, you know, really expanding into a lot of television work? Am I now expanding into a lot of self-driven work? So I think COVID gave us an opportunity, not just artists, but across the board for us to take measure of ourselves. Where am I? What do I want? How do I get there? And what are the obstacles on the way? Understood. Kevin Mambo, it's been great talking to you this morning on Good Day Atlanta. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right. Good morning, everybody. All righty. We'll see you. Hit and Run is now streaming on Netflix. And